Hey, what's up everyone? It's Epically New with you guys for our second video today uh, after the Ken Banner pool. Um, if you guys have seen, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, just not going to comment on an, anything about that and let you guys watch it. Um, Alright, uh, I was going through Raid for a bit and then I realized that uh, why not just uh, show how I take down Arakan. Uh, this is actually the team that I use because uh, it has the highest morale boost which is for at 41 uh, with Serene's uh, sad memory and advice um, as you can see the, the characters I use aren't really optimized for this raid uh, for Arakan partly because like Vildred is wood and I mean it's earth type and there are fire adds over there the, the dark type boss isn't much of a problem but you wanted a single target DPS nuke like Lorena in fact, with Lorena, raid isn't really or all that hard at all. Um, as you can see, I have Dian there as well, but uh, it will be a lot easier with a healer instead of Dian. I'm just using her there because she contributes to the morale boost. Um, yeah, so I'll just get right down to it and show you guys how I uh, kill it. Uh, okay, wait, first, I will go through the skills. Um, Basically, Arakan has uh, not many skills that are really uh, threatening. The rest you can read, but the ones that uh, that that might kill you are perhaps this critical response, where when he goes below fifty percent, he will get an extra turn, and this is bad. Along with the skill cooldown. Um, other than that, uh, when the two ads are alive and the Corrupted Web is available for use, you will have defense up and also the immunity. So you can't drop any debuffs on it uh, when two ads are alive and this is available. And the defense up is so severe that you will do almost no damage to Arakan. So you will, you will definitely want to take down the ads uh, so that you can actually do some decent damage on Arakan. But there are a few set rules to follow. I won't go through the others because um, these are pretty standard. You can read it for yourself. But um, what you want to do is uh, buff up, take down the two adds, and then uh, go straight into bursting uh, Arakan. And then rinse and repeat. So I'll just uh, show you as it goes. So first up, I'll take down one add. As you can see, it's pretty bad because I can't kill a fire ad with a wood or earth hero. So Lorena is uh, kind of the main over here. And Vildred is kind of bad here too because you don't want to kill the ad when you are not buffed. Because if you do, you are in trouble. You're not buffed. You can't really um, buff yourself while the... Well, the, the boss is actually available for attacking. The reason why is mostly because um, they, he will drop a few debuffs on you that will prevent you from uh, buffing up at all. So which is the unbuffable uh, debuff. Uh, you, you, you'll get to see it shortly. Like, like so. Um, oh, oh, come on. Like so. Yes, like that. And also, there's also the speed debuff, which is really bad. Uh, okay, right here, there are two ways to go through this. Once uh, you are, he's available for attacking, once you take down one ad, so you don't take as much damage. This is recommended for um, newer players trying the, the raid. Uh, so I'll just do, I'll just do as the, for, for the, for the sake of the newer players. But in my case, it might be a little bit dangerous because, um, Vildred is there, so I don't want to kill this second ad uh, like too fast because um, that would just render me unable. Oh, damn it! Yeah, that that happens, and when that happens, I have to. I'm not able to buff up a second time because yeah, it's just gonna use S three again on me. And the unbuffable will be there again. So yeah, that's the downside of using Vildred. You should never use an AoE here, especially if you are 
new to the raid. Uh, I guess I'll try to go through this somehow. I might be able to nick this down with Surin. Surin is a really great character for raid because of the amount of morale that she provides. Her morale boost is amazingly high. Oh, what do you know? I have some time before he uses S3. So I will just take this chance to buff up since the adds are already already dead. And yay me. Thank you DN for being fast. But as you can see, um, Devour Arakan isn't really all that hard. In fact, if you have um, healers, it will be a lot easier. Like for example, Akades or or even um, Angelica if you have but Angelica is kinda kinda how do you say it? I would say the premium um, premium healer it's the healer that everybody wants okay as you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble there it's kind of a bad luck kind of thing usually Surin doesn't really die against Arakans. It's 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 bad luck she's getting focused on then again, if you have a little bit of difficulty when it comes to this, you can just simply use Arky to burst it down. Oh, what do you know? S1. And, oh my god, it's not dead. It's dead now anyways. I, I think I can break through the defense. Yeah, okay, I did. Yeah, and that's how I usually do Arakan, although most of the time my my team would still be intact but if you guys okay uh, the route i actually take is like this so i'll just go straight to the end kill the first boss walk backwards go to the middle and walk straight up to arakan and yeah that's how i do it okay now to show you guys the morale right oh i can't because surin is dead uh be right back okay i'm back um Okay, what I did was I just walked straight there, die, and come back alive again. Okay, so here's my morale. Uh, Surin, advice. Bada bing, bada boom. And 18. And second one, sad memory. Bada bing, bada boom. And tung 23. So I have a total of 41. This is my highest morale. I mean, there's another combination I have that is 42, but uh, that would render me useless because I don't have a buffer or a healer, so it's just full nuke. And yeah, that's not really good for, um, for raid at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue doing the rest of the raid just to waste the morales. And... See you guys in the next video. Ciao.